humans and non-humans. Um, my name is Abby Kyra, Vampire. And I'm still sleepy. Hey, because we're recording Jamie. this video on the same day that we recorded the last one. Yay! Welcome to part two of our uh, other can documentary um, Where react. We take a big steamy dump on the narrators. <laughs> Basically. Uh, for context, so this is this documentary is called The Man Who Thinks He's a Wolf slash I Think I'm an Animal, uh, and it's by Curious. Um, we still a dumb name. We hardly made kind of. We didn't really make much of a dent in the last video, so I'm hoping that we can get farther uh, in with this video. Not as many tangents this time. Let's jump straight in. Well said. <laughs> and spiritually with an animal, and since the age of six, I should maybe uh. Has believed he something that needs to be constantly yeah. purged in your head, because you constantly have to realize, oh, that that's right, that's right. I I I think differently. Therians identify weird. psychologically and spiritually with an animal. And since yeah. the age of six, mm -hmm. Caleb has believed he is a wolf. I'm, I have um, don't know if he believes a couple that. tails. This is um, the one that I've been wearing mo for the most part. It's a little bit less realistic. This one's a bit more cartoony. But I like it, it because does. it's easier to manage. I used to have uh, actually what was a decommissioned fursuit tail. tail. And, those and it bothered the hell out of me because yeah. it was just like, it was just inconvenient in and every way. And this one's like a lot more cute. and Yeah. Oh, yeah, he mentioned that it's a decommissioned uh, a lot more fursuit. Playful. So to go out in public with it, I think it just it fits a lot more. But it fits I me. I would never go out in public with my tail. It has my like, colors. That's, too scary. that's actually where I sleep. Unless I'm right going to a con, because then, like, you know. Yeah. I once did a wolf Connor, you know, Connor from Detroit. I remember Detroit, that. Woman, yeah. And everyone was like, wolf android, wolf android. And I'm just like, aww. Well, we should do that next time. I actually want to uh, cosplay as my kin type again. I'm not gonna cosplay for my kin type um, until Aurora, my fursuit, is fully like ready, which I'm gonna have to pay like a thousand eight or a, at least a thousand eight hundred for her. Ooh. But like once I save the money up, it's gonna be worth it. Like I love fursuiting. Gee. Yeah. But normally that's where I sleep, so and that's um, anime characters. <laughs> tons of it's mostly computers in here actually. Uh, I like it quite a lot because it gets quite warm in here, and as a red wolf, I like warm temperatures. Mood. Me too. <laughs> See, I like cold, but I don't like too cold. Mm. Caleb lives at home with Dad Jim, brother Chris, and his mom, Mary Ellen. Well, when you first told me about being a Therian, and you said you felt That's you were a part now. animal, yeah. and you said to me, Mom, what you look at when you see me, this is not who I am. I'm actually somebody very different. Um, I questioned if you were schizophrenic. Nice. Um, or mentally ill. And then when you told me nice. that, when I asked how long you had felt this way, and you told me it went all the way back to when you were around six years old, that you had been carrying this with you, that you really felt that part of you was this wolf. Um, I've come to really accept it and support it. Oh. Um, I, I get a Just little bit sad sometimes that Caleb is so involved thoughts. in his own world mm -hmm. that he seldom comes into our world. That's understandable. Um, I didn't come out in a sense to my parents. You my were parents, outed. I was outed basically. Force, forcefully. Because um, at the time I was like eighteen, and my parents could see my Facebook. They could see like what groups I was in and such and such like that. They would monitor my social media. And they found out that I was in an other kin Facebook group. And they would, I don't know how they did it. Um, I don't know if they had like my login info or what. But they could basically see what I had posted in the group. And they would, like they just confronted me about it. And it was just like, um, like they weren't supposed to find out about this because I knew that they would react that way. Um, so basically, yeah, my parents aren't as supportive. I'm glad that, um, this mother eventually came to accept it and try to understand it. I'm not out, although my mom does know that I'm a furry and she supports me in that, but I don't think she would support me in other kin related stuff. But hey, you know, I'm glad she supports me being, um, you know, a wolf furry. <laughs> It's interesting because when it comes to, I guess, spiritual or, like, identity and stuff like that, parents can be, 
really cautious and nervous about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Heck, I was a raised... Of, sorry. A uh, lot of parents um, hate furries, though, because, like, you go on YouTube and you'll find, like, videos that are like, help, my child's a furry and stuff like that. I only told mom because, like, I didn't know about all that stuff before, and I was going to do it for Halloween one year, and so I'm like, I have to tell mom what I'm planning, and she was like, oh, that sounds really cool. Luckily, she didn't know about the whole you know, yes thing, which oh, thank God, because yeah. yes is... Is this not even that much of the community? It's not that much of the community. Like, I don't even find yes that gross. I just think, like, you should make it hard to find. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of furries are minors. Mm-hmm, yeah. Or just don't want to see that, that crap in there. Age, Caleb was brought up into an accepting and diverse environment. That's amazing. His mom, Mary Ellen, is a shaman. She believes she can communicate with the spirit world. Yes, I girl. Shamanism is not a religion, but it is a way of connecting with something deeper than yourself. It is a way of feeling that sense of the divine in this universe, and I honor everybody's path. And I feel the same way about what Caleb is doing. I, I think that that's a path that they'll take, and I think it'll evolve for them. It'd be really interesting to see what happens to him 10 years from now. The environment. You see, that's amazing, because as I was going to mention before, uh, my family is atheist. Not like that's a bad thing. That's actually, like, really, really cool. I was raised atheist, but then later I started to go down more of a pagan path, and my family did not react well to that. They they kept, especially my dad, he kept saying that, like, oh, we're concerned for your safety and blah, blah, blah. Basically, they they already are kind of paranoid about my safety. And now with the whole spiritual stuff into the mix, they're afraid that I'm going to get, like, mixed up with the wrong people and stuff like that. And it's like, I get that. But I'm almost jealous of, like, this kid because he grew up in that kind of environment that is more accepting of quote unquote different beliefs, different spiritualities, different mm-hmm. identities. Also, like being worried for pagan paganism, like yeah, there's probably gonna be some culty pagan paths, but there's culty paths for any religion, and like you as an adult, like they should at least like believe that you're you know mature enough to not you know end up going down the wrong path which they don't they give me a lot less credit for being mature and for you know knowing when a situation might be bad than I actually like it's and it's not just me like saying that like oh I know everything I'm invincible blah 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 like when I've actually talked with like uh, counselors in the past with like uh, mental health services and stuff at college you know you can go in talk to a counselor or whatever if something's going on it's not they've that actually you're invincible. told me it's more that you're like you know smart enough to not exactly do the wrong thing they've told me like wow you're very insightful and oh wow you're very like self aware and you're very mature and it's like thank you someone sees Final- it exactly not just someone but an adult because I'm an adult and I see it but I'm a young adult Exactly. Like, my parents never say that about me whatsoever. So it's finally, it's, like, amazing. It's like, thank you. I can, like, stand on my own two feet. Thank you very much. Um, Anyway, I'm going to. And this house is very warm and it's very open, uh, which is probably why a lot of my friends like coming over here and we like hanging out and doing things. No, add no. Uh, no. You did add something longer too. They do. That was fun. As a little kid, I love Caleb is not unique in his beliefs. Yeah. He is part of a small Farian community of people in Buffalo. They include Stephen, a leopard, and Timothy, a raccoon. 
Together, they run an amateur radio show from his bedroom. That's awesome. It broadcasts to hundreds of people like them all around the world. Kind of like us. Yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> no. welcome back. This is episode one hundred and two. I'm your host of this evening, Paradox. Because they were actually the inspiration that I had. It's like, oh, I want to do that. It would be nice to get big enough that we can do a collab with them. That honestly, that would be really cool. I have no idea what their radio show is, but. That would be amazing. If be I honest. did, I'd love to reach out If they out still to them. exist. Like, this was made back in, like, 2013. Yeah. I mean, if they did still exist, I'd love to reach out to them and talk. That would be really cool. Possibly yeah. do a collab. <laughs> That'd be fun, yeah. The Wolf. I am your blue fox host, Pharaoh. I am your co-host in training, Shroud the Leopard. I'm your guest, Minok the Raccoon. All right, next email that I got here. Uh, hey, guys, my name is Kobe, and I am an orange, blue, and white male German shepherd. Hey. Uh, I am also bisexual, and I am 19 hey. years old, and I'm having some huge issues with my parents in relation to being Therian. Is there any help explaining this to them? How did, how did you do it? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh. I, I barely touched on it because my parents just didn't care. They just, my mom just wanted me to be safe. My dad said that I could have whatever beliefs I wanted as long as I wasn't, uh, I wasn't hurting anyone. Oh, you're hurting myself. Why are these both yeah, great parents? Insane. I'm jealous. When my mother Same. Out, she asked me if she had done anything wrong as a parent. Ooh. <laughs> and, and I was like, no. My parents always think, uh, live on that live type is not the, as long as you're happy kind of people. Right. So oh, when, as far as yourself. how I had to do it. It's not like I could offer advice from my personal experience. Yeah. Because I had it easy. Caleb and his friends are fortunate that they are content feeling like animals. For others, though, this is not the case. Honestly, I am jealous of a little bit of their family situation. But I'm glad that I met you. Because now I have someone that I can relate to. I'm so sorry, shirts. I'm speaking out, girl. <laughs> it's Probably okay. Over 50. This is my absolute favorite of them all, and it's got, it's one of my newer ones. It's hey. got, like, the wolf and the moon, and it's just I, I full love body wolf. Oh, yeah, this is and it's purple. This is, I just love it. When it's I first met you, you were wearing a wolf shirt. Because I have a lot of wolf shirts. Well, it's I funny have, because I, I, two, I haven't but... seen you wear one since. It's so funny. Literally, like, the first day we met, you I've were wearing a wolf shirt. I've worn my wolf shirts multiple times. I don't know where my Timberland shirt is. That's my favorite because it's red, too. Mm. But I still have my Alaska one. My mom will buy, like, wolf... When she goes to Alaska, she'll buy me wolf um, things. Like, she's bought me a wolf plushie. She's brought me a wolf shirt. Back when taxidermy... Taxidermy wolf stuff was still legal. She brought me actual wolf fur. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. I don't know where my wolf fur is anymore, but, like, now that they're an endangered species, I feel really weird about having it. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Because, you know, normally to get taxidermy, you have to go and kill the animal. Although there are some taxidermists that, like, you know, will find them dying from natural causes. Yeah, which is much more humane. Yeah. Either they're already dead or they are dying, which, like, if they're dying and there's no chance of saving, like, I don't know, like, if the hunter kills them, like, to make them suffer less, I guess that's better. I just don't like seeing wolves suffer. Yeah. Same with me and, like, any animals. Any animals, but, like, I guess being wolfkin, like, seeing wolves suffer hits closer to home. That makes sense. Like, yeah, I don't want to see any animal suffer. Dogs, cats, like, tigers, all those animals. I don't know. I'm just listing a few animals because I'm tired. But, like, I don't like seeing them suffer. But wolves specifically really hurt. And it really hurts when I see, like, articles like, kill all the wolves. Wolves are evil. Because people are out there saying, like, wolves are a menace and they deserve to die. And I'm just, like, I'm sitting here like, what did they ever do? Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. 18-year-old Matthew Schimmel lives in Brunswick, Georgia. That's my diploma from when I graduated high school, and they yeah. had actually put Wolfie on the side of it. Aww. This is really cool. This, awesome. when I turn it on, it will, it'll sound like a waterfall right up in the wolf will howl. That's cool. It's getting there. Mm-hmm. So you're yeah, trying not to shift right now. I'm not shifting. <laughs> a whole 
bunch of wolf stuff. I've got two wolf posters. That's a picture of the wolf that I adopted. Um, <laughs> oh, I want to the wolf. Wolves as well. I've met a real yeah. wolf before. Yeah. You it's have. Her name was Foxy. What happened was she was from Yellowstone, and poachers got her and her whole litter. And when the um, wildlife people, the rangers, got them, they were too, like, injured to release. So they were like, we're going to sell these. We're going to get licensed to sell them. Oh, wow. And two of them ended up in Tahoe. Did You mean, like, rescue? Yeah, rescue rather than But full-bred wolves, like, their mother and their father were purebreds. Wow. And Tim, the guy I met, Tim, he had Foxy and Gray. He had to give away Gray because Gray was a bit too wild. But he kept Foxy. Apparently, wolf males are a lot more wild than wolf females, which makes sense. <laughs> but I got to meet Foxy, and I visited her three times, and she recognized me each time. Aww. They're freaking huge, aren't they? They are. Wolves are gigantic. They're not like German shepherds. They're bigger. <laughs> I ran. It is not just wolf memorabilia that sets Matthew apart from other teenagers. In a personal, integral, and non-physical level, I am a wolf. Non-physical. Um, I it's love... Very, it's very spiritual We've already talked me. about I how believe. physical Thank shifting you. is impossible. Thank you. I'm only, so glad that he clarified that. If only. If only. I want a physical shift so bad. Why? That's... But, unfortunately, I have to rely on fake fangs and possible ear pointing... When mm-hmm. I get older and can afford it, I would love to shape shift into a wolf if it was possible. That, that would be amazing. One of the reasons why Twilight Princess is my favorite video game hey. because you have a character who can shape shift into a wolf, and I'm like, can I please be like him? <gasps> Mood. <laughs> Tell me your secrets, Link. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> I have the spirit of a wolf. Um, it's also very psychological. I behave like a wolf. I feel when I refer to myself, I am a wolf. Basically, other than the fact that I have a human body and human flesh, I am a wolf. I can't really give you a number of how many variants are out there. I like doing things like that. Exactly. Wolves have, like, very square-shaped paws. They can't really do things. I wouldn't be able to play video games, which is why I want to be able to physical shift, because, like, hey, it's like... Right now, I want to do human things, human form. But now, I want to do wolf things, wolf form. Boom. There you go. Best of both worlds. <laughs> now I have that Hannah Montana song stuck in my yeah, head. Yeah, don't it. sing. I won't. I don't want to get, you know, copyright striked. Yeah. We already messed up with the MCR. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands in communities that I know about and that I'm a member of. Obviously, there's wolves. I'm a wolf. You know, cats, foxes, Mm. domestic cats, tigers, lions, flies. I've met, believe it or not, several insects. To myself, I see a black wolf on all fours walking. They're out there. And that's how I want to be pictured a lot of times because that's what I am, you know. You see me as this person and I see myself as a wolf. Growing up and believing something that no one else could see meant that Matthew had a tough time at school. Day-to-day life at school was a living hell in every sense of the word. The only reason I survived was because of my very few close friends who I am still fiercely loyal to to this day. The same loyalty a wolf would have to his pack. That's amazing. One of those loyal friends from school is Jade. The first thing I noticed was the tail. It was the first thing I noticed about him. And then he, of course, he had a wolf shirt on. Jade is also a wolf. Hey. And instantly bonded with Matthew due to their similar beliefs. He was the one who actually brought up Therians. And at that time, I was still kind of new to the whole concept. Like, I knew that about, you know, me being a wolf, but I didn't know the, the technical term for it. Which we just hang out here, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A nice place to go. It's quiet. It's quiet. You can meditate here. I actually, I literally didn't meet any other kid in person until college. You were literally the first person that I met. (laughs) Before that, I had interacted with some people on Facebook that I mentioned before. uh, And then the whole thing with social media and my parents. And I actually was feeling really, really lonely because it's like, well, I need 
someone that I can relate with on that level, but it has to be like, not real, but like a physical person in front of me that I can actually be friends with so that my parents won't get mad at me. Plus, I mean, it's impossible for me to be like actual friends with someone on the internet anyway, since I I don't know them in person. Um, Internet friends. Yeah. I don't know how some people do it, but that's just me. Um, (laughs) um, Yeah. No distractions from random people, you know. (laughs) It makes me feel more connected being here. I would only do that if I knew that no one was in that forest at that moment. Or if I was far away out that no one could really hear me. Yeah. (laughs) I've howled before, but it's more like only if people can't hear me. Nah, I just moved the microphone closer to you. I don't know. Sorry if this whole video, if I'm slightly louder than Jamie. <laughs> I'd like to stay further away from the audio thing. Microphone. Frick frack. Yeah. Well, there's more spiders over there. It means a lot to me that, you know, he has included me in his pack and kind of taken me in. Cause it, it, like, for the longest time, it seemed like nobody was there. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. I, I would never howl on that. camera. I low key feel like they were told to do that. Yeah. Probably. You kind of have to bottle so much up inside when you're certain places, and you can just let it all out. I love forests, so forests are nice. For Matthew, mm-hmm. acting like a wolf and feeling like one is not enough. He has made a decision that will affect him in one week. No! I hate <laughs> No! What? No! <laughs> Again? Also, Spoon did me plus. Honestly, they're true. For the rest of his life, I honestly hate that he wants to change his name. Oh. He's been talking about this for years. He's an adult. He can do this without our permission. So it's a battle I can't fight anymore. God, I hate that title. Um, title it, blocks on the screen. Number yeah. Four. Every time I see it, I get angry. I think I'm going to stop the video there because it actually does this little transition thing. But, yeah, Loki want to talk about the name change for a moment? I mean, good for him. But, like... It is... I do understand where the parents are coming from because it is going to affect him for the rest of his life. Like, trying to get a job. Mm-hmm. Um, I, like, when you legally change your name like that. Yeah. I think he's, like, trying to change his middle and last name. Uh, I think it might actually be his first name, too. I uh, think... But his according name to the like document, Shiro Wolf. Shiro Wolf, yeah. That's what he's changing it to. And it's, like... In fact, actually, now, I think someone might have mentioned that now, quote-unquote, he is now she, I think. And I don't know what name they go... Now I'm, I'm going to start continuing to use they, they them, them pronouns. We don't because know. I don't actually know. Because I heard that they are transgender, transition to female. I don't actually know what name they go by now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, obviously this documentary was made uh, before then. But yeah, like changing your name when you're transgender, that's one thing. To make it... I mean, I legally want to change my name because I hate my dead name. Honestly, yeah. Like, that makes sense. But, like, to an when other it, kid name, it's, like... Sh- uh, sorry about that. Our, um... Time ran out. Yeah, timer ran out. We're really bad at that. We are. Um... But, yeah, changing your name to something, um... Like that. Um... Sorry, the vocal call was on for a sec, making our... It, would, it makes our voices sound weird. Uh, Trippy. Yeah. It definitely can, like, mess with your chances of getting a job, which, like, you know, society, we have to get jobs to like, make In money. this economy, there's no way that in you can survive In this economy? <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, yeah, I think this would be a good place to leave off. Yeah. Um, Not really much we can, I can say now. Except for, yeah, the name change, like, I mean, like, you do you to feel comfortable, but, like, I don't know, I just feel like, was this the right choice? Yeah. 
I mean, I guess we'll uh, we'll find out more about that later. We're only like twelve minutes in. Oh, I thought we were seventeen. Oh no, no. I'm seeing it wrong. Oh. <laughs> no, no, we're like twelve minutes what? into the video. Uh, this is gonna be quite, I guess, a long series. It's definitely not gonna be, you know, a two parter, three parter, even a four parter. But it'll give us, I guess, some more uh, video ideas, uh, yeah. which is cool. Um, if there are any more videos that you guys want us to react to, please send them our way. And then we can do way. a shitty movie review after this yeah. whole thing. Because, like, you know, delve into some other kin stuff and then, you know, have some time for us to be silly, mess around. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to screenshot. Okay, where we are. Yeah, where we are in the video uh, so that we could just pick up right where we left off. And with that... We will uh, see you guys see later. next time. Bye. Mother hackers. <laughs> <laughs>